In this video, we'll be looking at a historical overview of the characters from everybody's favorite Half-Life mod, Zombie Panic Source. Survivor number 1, Eugene. Throughout the development of the earliest version of Zombie Panic Source, there were many ideas for player models scrapped and others reused. One of the instant hits was a detective character that would use an open black jacket, blue shirt, beige cargo pants, black shoes, and fingerless gloves. Eugene was modeled by Eka, a 3D artist who was a user on the original Zombie Panic website. We presume that the original ZPS team were looking for freelance 3D artists since Eka seemed to be a novice at making models at the time. Eugene was created at the beginning of 2006. Originally in his head model, he was blonde and had brighter skin. That version was featured in the first public playable version of ZPS called ZPS 1.0V, which was released on Gamefront. According to old ZPS renders, Eugene was supposed to have more model detail. Specifically in his face, he would have had animated eyes and hair tufts just like in the zombie version. The animated eyes idea was scrapped completely due to a glitch that caused the eyes to move incorrectly. If you've ever played Half-Life 2, you'll notice that Eugene's hands are very similar, both in model and texture, to the Half-Life 2 Rebels hands. In 2005, 3D.SK was created, a site which gave 3D artists image references of the human head and body for modeling. Fortunately, it's still active to this day, unlike the original Zombie Panic website. Upon the release of 3D.SK, a reference called Lada was released. It was the guy that we know today as Eugene. Despite having a funny face and hair, he was the reference that Eka used for creating the most played as survivor in ZPS. Lada is from the Czech Republic and is a man of multiple aliases. He most commonly goes by Valo Maten or Manuel Martinez. You may be asking why he has multiple aliases. Well, the answer is that his job requires it. He works as a gay porn actor who acts in adult movies. After creating the character and sending it to the team, the developers of course knew they would have to find a voice actor. Kilamo The chosen individual to voice act Eugene was Kilamo. He also made most of the ZPS soundtracks. In recent versions of ZPS, Eugene's hair was changed from blonde to brown and his skin texture was modified, his head mitt map was completely scrapped. The eye textures were changed, and the only thing that was altered in Eugene's clothing was his fingerless gloves, which just underwent a small adjustment to the texture. His zombie version is one of the best in the entire game, and also ended up being an icon of the game. It's the most unique since the other player models are mostly just retextures. Since he was one of the original zombie models in the game, he's changed a lot. He used to have glowing eyes and specular mapping on his wounds which would reflect light. Fun fact, he is missing the gloves which were present in his Survivor version. You may also be thinking what popular 3D softwares were used at that time. The answer would be 3DS Max 2006. Survivor number 2, Marcus. Aside from Eugene, we also have Marcus, the second cop character in the game. Despite his model looking way more basic and simple than Eugene, it still holds up well for a Source game. He was based on the Dawn of the Dead character Kenneth. Marcus originally had a short-sleeved black uniform with multiple badges and brighter skin with visible flaws. Looking at the old Marcus render, he was supposed to have a very clean and shiny uniform with different badges and a more detailed texture of the head. Marcus was modeled by Shames, a 3D artist we know little about. Fortunately, we do know who voiced Marcus, a friend of Kilamo's whose name was Kevin Lewis. His zombie model is a very well-performed retexture of his human version. Like Eugene, he used to have glowing eyes and a less tweaked head texture. In recent versions, his human skin tone got darker and his uniform became dirty. A tiny curiosity is that all these EPS character surnames are based on their voice actors. For example, Eugene Grant, Eric Grant, Marcus Lewis, Kevin Lewis. Survivor number 3, Jessica. The first female character in ZPS was Jessica, a young waitress who killed her boyfriend after him turning into a zombie. In a very old zombie render, she was supposed to have a different hairstyle, clothing, and head model. Initially, she just had a black and orange shirt with no undershirt, plus darker jeans. Jessica was modeled by Ree, who was also an unknown 3D artist like Shames. 
Jessica was based on a generic woman reference published in 3D.SK in 2005. Older versions kept her original design but made a few tweaks to the head and arm texture. Jessica's voice actor is Lindsay Shepard. There have been two different variations of her voice throughout the different versions of ZPS. The one which was finally settled on was the 2.4 version. Comparing her zombie version to the old render, she's changed a lot, her ponytail is cut, and her head is somewhat deformed. She is pale, has dried blood on her face, and milky eyes. In recent versions, her skin tone and clothing were drastically changed. Survivor number 4, Paul. In 2009, a new character was in the works for ZPS. His name was Paul. A punk who was about to create a band and release a music demo, he wears a camo jacket, blue torn jeans, accessories, wristbands, and an earring. When he was a work in progress, he didn't have a camo jacket. He had higher quality hair. Paul hasn't suffered any major updates to his design, although there are visible flaws in his model. For example, the black background change texture and the weird hair texture. His fingers, which lack a proper 3D skeleton rig, were created by Tatsuro. His zombie version is one of the most basic in the game. He seems to be a zombie in a recently turned state since he's still fresh and barely decayed unlike the others. Sadly, we don't know who voice acted Paul, but we do know that he's based off a generic person named Rudy referenced in 3D.SK. Survivor number 5, Leah. Also in 2009, a second female character was created called Leah, a Danish interchange student in the United States. Curiously enough, she ended up in a hotel next to Larry's Diner, which is in the same vicinity as fellow survivors Jessica and Larry. She wears an open green hooded jacket, a white undershirt, a white scarf, blue jeans, and sneakers. It's been 11 years since Leah has been released, yet she hasn't suffered any major design changes. Instead, she only underwent minor tweaks to both her zombie and survivor model's texture. In ZPS 2.4, she had a hair texture with more detail and also an alternative eye texture which included a hazel eye color instead of brown. Zombie Leah used to have her fingers set at the widest spread possible. It seems that she used to have an error on her model because the ZPS zombie animations do not animate the character's fingers. Her zombie version seems to be the third best after Marcus and Eugene, respectfully. She's suffered burns, contusions, and scratches. Her voice actor was a member of Convict Gaming, a ZPS group which seems to be absent from the community today. It is unknown who created Leah, but what is known is her face reference. Her name is Anita Smirhova, like Lada, a Czech porn star who's had multiple alias such as Anita Keys and Aneta Hova. She's pretty good. Survivor number 6, Vanessa. In 2012, Vanessa, the third female character in ZPS, was released. She was a green tank top, a dark leather skirt, sunglasses, black high-heeled boots, and accessories. Vanessa has had barely any changes throughout the ZPS versions. The most noticeable ones are in the texture where her skin tone was tweaked. Aside from model fixes, she was created by E. Arkham, a 3D artist who helped the ZPS team with maps before doing player models. In her zombie version, she is missing her nose and has milky eyes. The rest of her body is covered in blood and dirt. Her voice actor is Christina Mikkel. It is unknown who E. Arkham used as a reference to create Vanessa's head. Survivor number 7, Pedro. In 2013, another ZPS character was in the works, Pedro, a character that was somewhat postponed but finally released. Originally made by Tatsuro, whose version was scrapped, later on, E. Arkham recreated his model completely. He wears a white tank top, green cargo pants, and a bandana. The bandana was absent from Tatsuro's versions probably because it was a work in progress. His face model was changed noticeably if compared to the alternative version. His clothing hasn't changed much aside from the texture. Pedro's zombie model is similar to Paul's in which he appears burned or being in a severe state of necrosis. You'll also notice that he has multiple purple veins in his body, so it's believed that he's a recently turned zombie like Paul. Since he's the newest ZPS survivor, he doesn't currently have any changes throughout the ZPS versions. Pedro was voiced by a professional freelance voice actor called Stig Sid Tangen, also known as Dragon Noor, who's also voiced in other Source Engine games such as Pirates, 
Vikings and Knights, and Cry of Fear. It is unknown who E. Arkham used to create Pedro's head model. Survivor number 8, Larry. Just so we're clear, Larry is not a new survivor. According to developer Tabahara, he was made by Tatsuro in around 2008. That may explain why he looks a bit out of place when compared to the rest of the survivors. The quality of his model is lacking in a few areas. He wears a blue shirt, apron, green pants, and dark brown shoes. He is the boss of Jessica who waitresses for him at his diner, Larry's Diner, located in the map Merksville. We can't say if he changed throughout the versions of ZPS since he was just released and we barely have any information about him. His voice actor is ZPS developer Casey Magnus. It is unknown what head reference Tetsuro used for creating Larry's head model. Larry's zombie model is currently one of the worst and laziest in the game and has been described as a dehydrated old man and resembling a cancer patient. Cut Characters Ash, David, Swat, and Hitoshi. All of these characters seem to have been completely scrapped or they could be stored somewhere like Larry was until the right time comes to release them. Information about Ash, David, and Hitoshi is completely absent. We do, however, know that the SWAT guy was actually a revamped version of Eugene. He was probably meant to be an alternative to the first version. Any other information about him is sadly absent. The Carrier The Carrier, known universally as Whitey, is not as relevant or famous as the zombie Eugene, for example. But since he's the only character guaranteed to feature in every round, let's talk about our everyday Patient Zero. He hasn't changed a lot. In versions 1.0 to 2.4, we can say that he just became a bit cleaner. Looking at his first render, he used to have longer teeth and a better eye texture with superior texture workings, but since this is rendered on a 3D program and not actually shown within ZPS, we can't compare this to the current material. He was modeled and voiced by the same guys who developed Eugene, Eka and Kalamo respectively. ZPS Comic in the official ZPS comic created by Henetzel Harpies, it was shown how the infection started to spread throughout a city. A guy named Jared, who was Jessica's boyfriend, wasn't feeling so good but he ignored what he was feeling and went to work. Later on, the infection had already taken over control. He only had a few seconds before turning into an uncontrollable freak. In this picture, Jessica is depicted as younger and having a different hairstyle, plus having her old black and orange shirt. Larry is also shown to be younger. These differences are put down to the fact that the comic was made with a more simplistic art style. Jared bites Larry. Larry reacts by pushing him to the ground. Eugene, Marcus, and Paul are worried about the situation. It is also shown that Eugene and Paul are much younger. Curiously enough, Paul doesn't have his beard or earring. He's also wearing an undershirt. This change is justified by the fact that Paul wasn't released at the time that the author was making this comic, just like Larry. There's also an unknown woman in the background running from the area. We don't have any idea who she is, and it's probable that we will never know since she could just be a random pedestrian like the person who was using his phone at the start of the comic. The Patient Zero, also known as the Carrier, is also depicted as way more gruesome and realistic. Although since it's a comic, we can't compare it too closely to the game. Characters Update In August of 2019, a modder known as Mage developed a pack of corrections for Paul. It was published in the ZPS Workshop as an add-on which the user could implement into his game. His update was implemented officially in the 3.1.0 unstable version of ZPS. At the end of 2019, Mage released the final pack of corrections for all the ZPS characters, which also included view models, gore models, and in-game portraits. Here are some comparative images of these survivors. We hope you've enjoyed this video and hope to see you in-game soon.